Hi guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how are you? Tommy, are you okay, guys? I hope so. We're going to start with the class in a moment. We're missing a couple of seconds. No, Felix, Marvin, Maris, Glenda, good afternoon. Present. Hi, how are you, Tommy? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you guys for, for being here, right? Let's begin with the class, it's one o'clock. Um, yeah, I'm pleased to be with you one more time. We, today is Thursday, February 10th, right? This is class number 12. I already, you know, mark your names in the list, right? Uh, Daniela is joining the session. Hi, Daniela. Good afternoon. I can see Fayola too. Hi, Fayola. Good afternoon. Hello, Fayola, Daniela. I can see Ana Maria and Stephanie. Hello, teacher. Hello, thank you. How's everything? Tell me. You okay? Welcome, uh, Stephanie and uh, Maria. Welcome to session. Hello. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, too. This is class number 12. Okay. Well, I already marked your names in the list, right? Thank you. Uh, I guess it's not listen. En lista, ¿verdad? Vamos a iniciar. Bueno, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos con el desarrollo de la plataforma, verdad? Los ejercicios, todo lo que tiene la plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Vamos bien? Hemos avanzado a la sección 4. Hello, Carmen. Good afternoon. Hi, Carmen, can you hear me? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Great, great. Okay, we are starting with a class. Very good, and Stephanie, you know, I'm happy to hear that. Awesome. Let's go on, let's go on. Olafner is joining us. I can see Suleyma. Hi, Suleyma. Hello, Abner. Yeah, I'm Hi, water. teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. Well, I'm, you know, marking your names in the list. Just give me a second. Estoy marcando a, los, a cada uno de los que se acaban de unir. Glenda y Nora. Hello. Carson. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Teacher. Hi, how's it going, guys? Are you okay? Hello, Jose. Good afternoon. I think he's connected, right? Yeah, he's connected now. He's connected ahorita. Sí, vamos a probarlo. Excelente. No, no se preocupe, Damaris. Todavía estamos en la sección 4. La, la sección 5 la iniciamos hasta la, la próxima semana. Ese sería... Okay, excelente. Ese sería... Nosotros terminamos la semana 3, ¿verdad? Recuerden que vamos de lunes a jueves. Los viernes no hay clases, ¿verdad? Eh, para que ustedes sigan trabajando en la plataforma y ya, para el tiempo, ¿verdad? Hacemos y, ¿verdad? No dejemos, pero también de, de practicar, hay que seguir practicando. Y vamos, ¿qué más veo por acá? 
Por el momento estamos todos en lista. Ok. Bueno. Preguntaba hace un momento, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Algunos me decían ya ¿verdad? que avanzaron, ya van por la sección 5 incluso. Otros, ¿verdad? Mencionan que, bueno, el caso de Amar menciona que todavía está en la sección 4. Excelente, ¿verdad? No se preocupe. Hay que seguir avanzando en la sección 4, ¿verdad? Eh, y, ¿verdad? Procuremos finalizar en, en esos días para que ya la próxima semana, ¿verdad? Nos quedemos ya con la sección 5. Podemos avanzar en la sección 5, recuerden, lo pueden hacer. Pueden ir avanzando sin ningún inconveniente. Y ya la próxima semana, ¿verdad? Terminaríamos. Vamos con la última sección. ¿Ok? Sí, en el caso de José, veo que tienen dificultades ahorita con el audio y video. Ya voy a escribir por chat. Bueno, eh, hay que prepararnos, ¿verdad? Desde ya. Les, les, les recuerdo la próxima semana que es la última y desarrollamos la última sección también, ¿verdad? La sección 5. Recuerden que vamos a hacer el, el final examen. Hacemos el, el examen final, ¿verdad? Eso se va a explicar también, ¿verdad? Lo que tienen que hacer y todo. Y no olvidemos que, bueno, creo que lo mencioné en las primeras clases, este examen siempre se hace eh, con anticipación. Es decir, probablemente lo, lo hacemos haciendo, ¿verdad? Un día antes. Probablemente lo, lo, lo tendemos a hacer martes o miércoles. ¿verdad? Pero más que todo martes, porque ya miércoles debe estar todo completo. Miércoles debe estar todo completo. Las cinco secciones y el examen final. Ya el jueves, pues es clase, la última clase, la clase normal. Desarrollamos el último contenido y ahí terminamos. Pero ya debe estar completo todo, la plataforma completa, para la ordenancia un día antes, es decir, miércoles de la próxima semana. Tiene que estar todo completo. Entonces, el, el, el final examen o el examen final lo hacemos martes. Martes. ¿Ok? Entonces, es que les notifico para que ustedes estén pendientes y podamos, ¿verdad?, ir avanzando, ir avanzando durante esos días, eh, fin de semana, aprovechemos y cualquier verdad cosa, cualquier duda o consulta que tengan, lo pueden hacer saber. Luego, Andrea, ¿verdad, Penel? Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Ok, bueno, solo estamos discutiendo acá, ¿verdad? Lo, lo que hay que ir ¿verdad? desarrollando durante esos días. Eh, creo que ese día terminamos la semana 3. Vamos de lunes a jueves. Los viernes, ¿verdad? Pues tendemos a, 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 a descansar, ¿verdad? O sea, no se recibe clases, pero eh, es un momento para que se ¿verdad? Aprovecha, hay que aprovechar. Eh, viernes, fin de semana, para poder avanzar lo más que se pueda. ¿Okay? Así es que voy a estar recordando esa información. Acabo de mencionar, ¿verdad? Eh, cualquier cosita me lo hacen saber. Cualquier pregunta que tengan, duda, con gusto. ¿verdad? No sé si las hay ahorita. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan? Preguntas, dudas. ¿Estamos bien hasta el momento? Luego, Ana y Nora, by the way. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. How are you? Good. Great. Ok. Bueno, ya la marqué, ya la puse en la, en la lista. Thank you. Ok. ¿Qué más? Creo que hasta el momento... Estamos bien. Veo que alguien más se une. Voy a... Oh, he acabo de ver a alguien más. Teacher, y ¿Ya? Si el examen final, si el examen final lo queremos hacer antes, lo hacemos antes. O, o, sí. o hay que esperar las indicaciones. Sí, sí, claro. Eh, buena pregunta. 
exacto, si los que ya vamos a, avanzando, ¿verdad? Ya vamos por la sección 5 probablemente. Bueno, espero, solo se están uniendo más compañeros para... Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, welcome. Good afternoon. Esmeralda. Alejandra, yeah. Ger, Carlos, hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you, Alejandra? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm very you, teacher. Very nice. Well, okay. thank you for asking. Doing well. Okay. Very good. All right. Me marca so, presente, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing so, no worries. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Vamos, vamos, hemos sacado de negro. ¿Alguien más que se acaba de unir? Además de Esmeralda, Carlos y Alejandro. Ya los, ya los marqué por acá. Creo que solamente ellos. Bueno, lo que estoy mencionando, ¿verdad? A los que se acaban de unir. Estamos dando un par de recreatorios importantes, ¿verdad? Para poder avanzar durante esos días, durante el, el fin de semana, ¿verdad? El desarrollo de la plataforma. Estamos en la sección 4. Hay que completar esas secciones eh, eh, durante esos días, ¿verdad? Por favor, vamos a dar, eh, bueno, les podría decir que el fin de semana, ¿verdad? De una manera de que sea antes para que no nos, nos acumule la, el trabajo, ¿verdad? Ya que la próxima semana iniciamos con la sección 5, la última, la última semana igual, últimas clases, últimas cuatro clases. Y cuando vamos a finalizar... Por lo general se les pide que todo, todo, todo se completo, o sea, la sección 5, el miércoles, un día antes, un día antes que terminamos. Es la indicación que siempre les da a los grupos, que deben de finalizar todo completo, las cinco secciones con el examen final, el miércoles. Por eso es que el, el examen final se explica el lunes, se explica el lunes y ustedes lo hacen el martes. Ya el miércoles debe estar todo completo. Y ya el jueves, ¿verdad? Sería la última clase, clase normal. Eh, sabemos, al, reforzamos, ¿verdad? El, el último contenido. Igual se les está haciendo preguntas, dudas. Eh, perdón, se les hace preguntas en caso haya dudas. Eh, ustedes las hacen, ¿verdad? Etcétera. Igual discutimos el meter. Y listo. Eso sería todo. Es que... Me preguntaba, Barrio, en verdad, hace un momento que si el examen final lo pueden hacer antes. Imagino, ¿verdad?, que los que hemos avanzado, lo hemos hecho para hacer cinco, que ha llegado el examen final, pues ya estamos próximos, ¿verdad? Sí lo pueden hacer, al igual que el Meacher, ¿verdad?, que les mencioné, que lo podían hacer antes, algunos porque lo hicieron antes, que lo explicaron. Excelente, lo pueden hacer, claro que sí. Es que no se preocupen. ¿Han puesto en techo? ¿Perdón? Tengo una pregunta. Ya, yeah, dame. Es con respecto a cuándo cuando es el último día para entregar los, las inscripciones otra vez. Oh, entiendo. Creería yo, tengo entendido, ahí sí les quedo mal, pero podría consultar. Creería yo que cuando se les envía la información, ahí también se les apuntó la fecha, la fecha límite. No sé si alguien... Por acá nos puede compartir si alguien tiene la fecha de límite que se les ha dado. Creo que es, creo que es el 14. 14, 14 de febrero, ¿ok? Esa sería la fecha límite. Si me pueden confirmar algo más. El 15 es. 15, ok. 14, 15. Bueno, eh, tengamos una idea, ¿verdad? Entre 14 y 15, ¿verdad? Voy a preguntar, ¿verdad? Si usan, puedo consultar. Eh, pero esas son las fechas, ¿verdad? 14, 15, estaría en la fecha okay. límite. Thank you. Obviamente no, you're welcome. Obviamente no esperemos hasta el mismo día. A veces, recuerden, suceden varias cositas que no están en nuestras manos y eso nos dificulta a veces, ¿verdad? Enviarlas lo que se nos pide y, eh, ¿verdad? Surgen muchas cosas. Entonces, eso a veces no nos permite, ¿verdad? Pero no les recomiendo que lo envíen antes. No esperen hasta ese día. 
Ok, esa sería la fecha límite para su inscripción, ¿verdad? Excelente. Si alguien más tiene dudas, preguntas. Hola, Efigenia. Hola, Efigenia. Hola, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, fine. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, I was seeking your message, by the way. It's okay, no worries. Thank you for okay. notifying me. Sure. You're welcome. Vi por ahí sus mensajes, no se preocupe. No olvidemos, ¿verdad?, utilizar nuestra cámara. Please, please. Bueno, solo estoy verificando si alguien más no lo ha agregado en lista. Ahora te agregué a Efigenia. O oh, no había agregado a Fabiola. Estuvo. Veamos qué más. Bueno, estamos bien. Vamos a iniciar. Eh, no sé si alguien más tiene alguna preguntita. Desde iniciar. Oh, vamos en el chat. Oh. Creo que me pregunta con respecto a, a la inscripción, Daniela. Sí, teacher. Oh. Mm. Bueno, creo que sí se puede. Creo que sí se puede. Lo que le recomiendo, si usa, puede consultarlo, ¿verdad? Con una, una autoridad. Si puede enviar el mismo PDF que menciona. Creo que sí se puede. Perfecto. Bueno, vamos a iniciar. Si no hay más preguntas, no sé si alguien tiene preguntas, puede para hacer sus preguntas. Okay, this is class number 12. Yesterday we started with the present continuous, right? Present continuous statements. Affirmative and negative form. Today we're going to talk about present continuous. Yes, no questions. Listen, yes, no questions. So we're going to see questions now. I told you yesterday, right? I told you yesterday. First, we're going to see affirmative and negative form. Now, let's go with questions. Specifically, just no questions. Okay. Very good. Let's start. When do we use the pressing continuous? Do you remember? When do we use the pressing continuous? Cuando está pasando la acción en el momento. Yeah. We use it when we talk about actions that are in progress or happening now. Repeat it for me, please. The person that, you know, gave me the answer. Remember, say it in English. Say in English. We use it to when we talk about actions that are in progress or happening now. Let's go. Repeat. We use we use it when we talk about actions that are in progress or happening now. Excellent. That is the way. Yeah, that's the way in English. All right. That is the use of present continuous. We use it to talk about actions that are in progress or happening now, right? Like I said yesterday, right? Right now, I'm talking to you, right? I'm speaking. I'm speaking. You aren't listening to the class, right? You're listening to the class. I can say, right? Um, Carlos is not watching TV right now, or I can say, Daniela is not what, watching videos now, right? Or I can say, Marvin is not playing soccer right now, right? So those are things that are not happening now. That is a negative form, right? But if I say, okay, Marvin is 
paying attention to the class, right? So that is correct because that is happening now. Or if I say, eh, Daniela is listening to the class now, right? So that's what she's doing. That's the way we use the pressing continuous. We have affirmative or negative form. But now let's talk about questions. Just no questions, specifically. When you have a just no question, you get short answers, right? Short answers. So you say yes or you say no. Do you answer yes or no? Yes or no? Let's see the formula first. What is the formula that we follow? It's simple. We use the verb B first. Verb B. Plus subject. Plus verb in ing. Again, we continue with the verse in ing, right? Remember? You say going, you say playing, you say working, you say listening, right? Those are the verse in ing. And what are the verse in the base form? Go, play, work, listen, right? Those are the verse in the base form. But in the present continuous, we use ing forms. So you say going, you say playing, you say listening, you say working. Right? And then at the end, we have the complement. That's the way you make a question. For example, are you listening to the class now? Are you listening to the class now? You can answer it. This is the way you can answer, right? You get two possibilities. You can say, yes, I am. Or you can say, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Or, no, I'm not. Are you listening to the class? That is the question. Are you listening to the class? So we follow the structure. The verb be. What is the verb be? Or we have three forms. Or um, um, um you is yeah. Um or is um or is that is a verb. Verb. If you say you, that is a subject, my friend. You is a subject. Such a pronouns, right? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, right? Subjects. Then we have the verb, which is in the ing form. We say listening. Listening. And to the class now is the complement. And something that we don't we don't need to forget is this. We use a question mark, right? Because it's a question. Or be, um, or, or is. The subject plus verb in ing form. Plus complement and a question mark. This is called a question mark. So it is needed because it's a question. It's a question. Again, are you listening to the class now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. What about if I ask you? Let's see. Are you listening to the class now, Ana Maria? Yes, yes I am. No? Yes, I am. Good. Are you listening to the class now? See? Um, Felix, are you listening to the class now? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you listening to the class now, Stephanie? Yes, I am. Good. Um, Marvin, are you listening to the class now? Yes, I am, teacher. Okay. Fabiola, are you watching TV now? No, I'm not, teacher. Okay, good. Awesome. I was expecting that answer. Very good. Uh, Fabiola, are you listening to the class now? Yes, I am, teacher. Okay, very good. Same. Carlos, are you listening to music now? No, I'm not. Okay. And are you listening to the class now? Yes, I am. Okay. Same. 
Alejandra, are you listening to the class now? Yes, I am, teacher. Okay, great. Same. Andrea, are you playing video games now? No, I'm not. Okay, are you listening to the class? Hola? Are you listening to the class, Andrea? Yes, I am. Okay, awesome. Okay. Um, Ifigenia, are you watching movies now? No. No, I'm not. Good. No, I'm not. Very nice. Linda Abigail, are you what? Are you cooking? No. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Good. Awesome. That's the way. That's the way. Excellent. Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's see another possibility. Moving on. Oh, okay. Something that we need to keep in mind with the present continuous. I guess I'm going to explain this soon, right? Voy a explicar eso en un momento. Voy a irme a la siguiente parte. I want to give it examples first. Okay. Another example. I need you to listen to the question, listen to the question carefully, and look at the photo. Look at the photo. Is she watching TV right now? Yes, she is, or no, she isn't? No, she isn't. No, she, no, is she, no, she isn't. Good. One more time. Is she watching TV right now? The possible answer is or yes, she is, or no, she isn't, right? We're talking about the girl, talking about the woman, right? So now it's different. You don't say yes, I am, or no, I'm not. No, because we're referring to another person, talking about the girl. Is the girl watching TV right now? What is the answer? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Listen to my next question. Is she playing basketball now? Yes, yes she is. is. Yes, she is. That's right. That, that is the way. That is the way. Okay? Yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. Very good. Okay. Um, Another example. Well, questions over here. Sorry, questions. No questions. No. Okay. Okay. Look, that is the answer. Right? Is she watching TV right now? No, she eats. It. Another example. Again, listen to the question. Listen to the question carefully and look at the photo. Are they eating pizza? Listen to the answers. You say, yes, they aren't. No, they aren't. You don't say again, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. No, the question is different. Are they eating pizza? Are they? Are they eating pizza? We have two people, right? We have a man and we have a woman. A man and a woman in the photo. Are they eating pizza? Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. What do you think? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Absolutely. So we can see in the photo, right, that that is happening now. Right? So these two guys are eating pizza. Right? The guys are eating pizza. Forget. That is the way. Okay? What about if I change the question? If I, if I say, for example, or I, I ask you, guys, are they eating hamburgers? Yes or no? No, they no, are. They aren't. No, they no, aren't. They aren't. No, no, they aren't. Exactly. No, they aren't. Exactly. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. They are eating pizza, right? They are eating pizza. 
right there. That is a way. That is a way. Okay. So these are just no questions. Just no questions. All right. Any interrogations or so doubts so far? Preguntas or dudas acá? No question, teacher. No. No. Very good. Okay. Listen. In the present continuous, we have something that is called, I mean, yeah, a steady verbs. Steady verbs. We need to keep in mind that we have a steady verse and dynamic verse. This part. Eso es muy importante, ¿verdad? Aclararlo. Steady verse and dynamic verse. Steady verse. We have dynamic verse. Uh, we can say steady verse, or we can say a stay verse. We can say dynamic verse, or these are called action verse. Action verse. What is the difference? Why I bring this information right here? Example, in the in, in, with the present continuous, you can use a steady verse, right? When the present continuous, no podemos utilizar a steady verse. Why? Because the steady verse, steady verse, they don't perform an action. The verse doesn't perform an action, right? Steady verse don't perform an action or action, let's say. Right. In dynamic or action verse, they do, right? They do. They perform actions. That is, you know, the opposite thing, right? You cannot say, you cannot say, okay, for example, I'm liking you, for example. No, because the verb like, the verb like, it's a steady verb. This is a steady verb, and this one doesn't prefer an action. Ese verbo, por ejemplo, no genera, o no, no crea una acción, ¿verdad? So that's why uh, with the present continuous, we cannot use that. Listen to this. Some verbs are not normally used in the progressive or continuous. So verbos no son utilizados, ¿verdad? Acciones en progressive, o acciones que son continuas. Cuando tenemos ing form, right? These verbs are called steady verbs. And the examples, right? We have these verbs. These verbs are steady. We have this is steady verse. Agree, believe, doubt, want, mind, promise, suppose, feel. You can say, I agree with him. She believed him. I doubt that's true. I want a new corn. I don't mind. I promise I will stay. If we suppose it's true. And you felt it. I mean, you felt, sorry, it was a good idea. That is correct with the steady verse. Those examples are correct. Casi está utilizado bien, ¿verdad? Steady verse. But if you use that in the present continuous, it, it's impossible. It's impossible. You cannot say, I'm agreeing with him. No. You cannot say, she was believing him. No. I'm doubting that's true. I am wanting a new car. No. I'm not minding. I am promising I will stay. We are supposing it's true. Or you were feeling it was a good idea. This is not possible. Why? Because this verse don't perform an action. Uh, we tend to express feelings, abstract things, uh, etc. It stays. Con esos verbos tendemos a expresar diferentes Ideas, ¿verdad? Opiniones, cosas abstractas, eh, sentimientos, etc. No, no, no se puede. Okay, with the present continuous. But if you have a dynamic verb, you can. 
if you have, you can see we have some examples over here. A steady verse, we have like, love, hate, on, appear, believe, seem, understand, consist, need, want, and mean. With those verbs, we cannot express ideas in the present continuous when an action is in progress. Con esos verbos no podemos expresar una, una acción en progreso o continua, con el presente continuo. No. But if you have a dynamic verb, you can, or an action verb. Jump, run, talk, write, read, see, watch, hold, hit, play, swim, look, open, break, buy, type, squash. Right? With those verbs, it's possible. You can use it in the present continuous. Why? Because they express actions, right? And when you use the present continuous, you express actions in progress. Actions in progress. Como son verbos, si se puede. Porque son verbos de acción. Y estamos pensando en acciones que están dentro. Acciones continuas. You can say it, right? Eh, I'm running. Eh, Fast now. That is correct. Because run is a verb, that is an action. That is an action verb. And we're expressing an action in verbs. Okay? So that is the difference. A steady verse and dynamic verse. And we cannot use steady verse with the present continuous. Okay? Does it make sense? Teacher, y yeah. la palabra play eh, presente continuo siempre se deja la la y al final o, o, o se modifica. Yes. No, we, we, we keep it. We keep it. Mm, yeah, we keep it. Ok. La mantenemos. La mantenemos. Play, play, right? Study the same, studying. But what about if, say you have, uh, try, it is not right, trying, trying. Con los verbos, cuando los construimos en ING, siempre les agregamos solo ING, aunque tengamos esos casos. Y al final, como sabemos, cuando tenemos la, la letra Y, la, la Y al final, ¿verdad? Y muchas veces cuando cambiamos los verbos en otras formas, las omitimos, ¿verdad? Las eliminamos esas Y. En esos casos, con ING es raro. La mayoría de verbos que tienen, tienen con Y se utilizan. De igual forma, solo se les agrega ING. Play, playing. Study, studying. Try, trying. Try, crying. Ok. That is the way. Preguntas acá. No. No. Anyone else? No, teacher, no question. No. Okay. Remember, we don't use the steady verse with the present continuous. But if you have an action verb like jump, run, talk, write, read, see, watch, pull, eat, play, swim, look, open, break, buy, Type, squash, you can use them with the present continuous. Okay, that is the difference. Okay, uh, with the questions, right? For example, with the questions, is she watching TV right now? The verb is watch. Watch is a dynamic verb. Watch. Watch is a dynamic verb. Okay. Watch is a dynamic verb or action verb. Okay. 
You can say, is she watching TV right now? Yes, she is. No, she is. That's correct. But if you use, for example, the verb love, in this case, no, because this is a steady verb. And the question can be, for example, listen, are you loving me? In this case, it's not you know, good. It's not good. Are you loving me? No, this is not correct. Right? The, the correct way is, do you love me? Do you love me? So we use the present simple. But this is, you know, a part. Esa es la, la forma correcta, pero esa es la parte. Vamos al presente simple, vamos a verlo. You can say, do you love me? Eso es lo correcto. No, are you loving me? Okay? That's why it's not possible. Okay? Questions? Again? No? No question. Thank you. Anyone else? You want? No. No. Okay. Well, let's continue. What I want to do, we're going to practice. I need you to look at, you know, the picture and answer, ask and answer questions with the correct form of present continuous. Here we have another a scenario, another picture, right? We can see many people, right? A family, let's say, we have a family. We have all grandfather, grandmother, Mrs. Green, Mike, the girls, as Simon, Mrs. Green, the ducks, and the birds, and we have a cat, right? So we have animals too. What I want to do, I need you to, in your notebook, I need you to construct two questions. Two questions, only two questions, right? If, for example, is Mr. Green watching TV? Please look at Mr. Green. This is Mr. Green. So the answer is no, he isn't, right? No, he isn't. Okay, so I need you to construct two questions in your novels. Two. Okay, and then you're going to be asking questions in, in here, right? In the class. In the class. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I will give you some time. Construct your two questions now. Construct the two questions now. Go ahead. Vamos, construyamos dos preguntas ahorita. Cada uno, con base en imagen. ¿verdad? Identificamos cada una de las personas o posiblemente los animales también, ¿verdad? Que tenemos acá y construyamos dos preguntas. Solo las preguntas, solo las preguntas. Las respuestas las van a sus compañeros. With the present continuous, please follow the example. Follow the example given. Digamos el ejemplo. And then we're going to do the exercise right together. You're going to be asking questions to your classmates. Vamos a hacer el ejercicio. Vamos a ir haciendo preguntas y nuestro compañero, verdad, otro compañero va a responder a esa pregunta. Y si, y si es su mujer, diría mistis, ¿no? I'm sorry? Si es mujer o, o tiene yes. que ir a moto, grandfather. Yeah, I mean. O si es mujer, miss, ¿no? And you say, for example, is Mrs. Green 
uh -huh. watching TV, for example, and you say another question, it can be is grandfather uh, reading the, new, the newspaper, etc. So it's in the same way. It's in the same way. You say is grandfather reading a book, for example, or we can say is Mrs. Green. Uh, watching a movie. That's the way. That's the way. Okay. Yeah. In okay. this case, in this case, we have to use is because he is grandfather. He is he, and is Mrs. Green. Is she? Is she? Okay. That's the okay. way. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Your classmates are sending the questions in the chat. Very good. Hmm. Don't forget to use the question marks, please. No olvidemos utilizar los signos de interrogación al final. Si no lo escribimos, ¿verdad? En, un, en, en alguna evaluación, por ejemplo, algún examen que tengamos, lo van a tomar mal. Se lo van a tomar mal. No olvidemos esos signos de interrogación al final. Eh, Ana Dinora, remember, first the verb be. First the verb be. Is old, watering, is Paul first ever be okay? It's a question. Yes. No problem. No problem. Thank you. The same with the other question. Are the girls? Are the girls played? Excellent. Oh, but in that case, are the girls playing is different. And I know that you say yes, they are or no, they aren't. Okay. okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank you for sharing the, the questions in the chat, guys. That's for compartir las preguntas in the chat. I like it. I like it. Uh, in your case, you say, is my, remember, is my cleaning. Is my cleaning the window? It's my cleaning the window. Mike, Mike. Creo que hizo algún error de él, ¿verdad? No se preocupe. Very good, and that's so funny. Good here, sir. Good, Maris. Yeah. Great, Andrea. Marvin, great. Good, Ana Maria. Thank you, Ana Inora. Carlos, very good. Yeah. Great, Jose. Thank you, Suleyma. Amazing, Glenda Vigail. Thank you, Damaris. Okay. Mm, me gustaría hacer una actividad ahorita, pero quiero que hagamos una cosita. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Quiero que tomen todos, 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 tomemos una, ya sea una captura o tomemos una foto. A esa, a la foto más que todo, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes, ustedes tienen sus preguntas, ¿verdad? Tomemos una foto a la imagen, ¿verdad? O si usan todo, no importa. Quiero que la tengan todos porque vamos a crear. ¿Alguna vez han utilizado los breaker rooms? ¿O han escuchado los breaker rooms? Hey, hi, teacher. Hi. Sorry. No, Sorry. Ya. Yeah. Okay, uh, Roger and Celia, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hola, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello. How are you today? I am fine, thank you. Awesome, thank you too. Bueno, no sé si lograron escuchar toda la explicación de, 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 de las preguntas, Roger and, and Celia. Creo que se nos acaban de unir. No, teacher. No. No, bueno, no teacher, no. Voy a explicar un, un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero sí le voy a pedir, por favor, que veamos la grabación luego para que se pueda poner el día, ¿verdad? Porque ya estuvimos explicando eso de anterior, ¿verdad? Eh, we're talking about the present continuous. Uh, just no questions. Just no questions. 
Uh, remember the present continuous. The present continuous is used to talk about actions that are in progress or happening now, right? Uh, when you construct or when you ask a question, right? We have just no questions and all these questions. When we have a just no question, this is the way you construct it. You have the, the verb be at the beginning, am um, or is, am um, or, or is. Then we have a subject plus a very nice form, and we have a complement. And we finish with a question mark. Okay, and the question is Are you listening to the class now? That's the question. And we answer those questions. We say yes or we say no, right? So in this case, with this kind of question, you have to be careful and listen right to the question first. Are you listening to the class now? You say, yes, I am, or no, I'm not, right? This is, you know, most of the times it's a personal question, right? This can be a, a question for you, right? If I say, for example, Marvin, are you listening to the class now? Or Evania, are you listening to the class now? Or Herson, are you listening to the class now? Right, and they answer, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. This is the first possibility. We need to pay attention to the question, specifically the beginning, the verb be and the subject, right? Are you, oh, this is a personal question. This question is for me. Are you, oh, yes I am, or no I'm not. That is the first possibility. The second possibility is, is this one, right? And I said previously, please look at the question and the photo. Is she watching TV right now? Look at the photo. Yes, she is, or no, she isn't. Your classmate said, no, she isn't, right? Look at the photo. The, the girl is not watching TV now. She is playing basketball. That's why we say, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. Those are the two answers, right? Those are the two answers. Again, pay attention to the question, the beginning, the verb be and the subject. Oh, okay, is she? All right, so I have to answer yes, she is, or no, she isn't, right? That is the way, okay? And the next example, the last example was, again, the formula, the question and the photo. Now we have two guys, right? Two guys, we have a man and we have a woman. Are they eating pizza? Look at the photo, the possible answers are, yes, they are, or no, they aren't, right? No, they aren't, okay? And we answer it, yes, they are, no, they aren't. What do you think? Are they eating pizza? Roger or Celia? Hey, hello, teacher. Yes, they are. Are they eating pizza? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Exactly. Very good, Sally and Royer. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That is the way. Again, remember, pay attention to the question, right? Are they? Are they? So you don't say, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. No. Because now the subject is they. Okay, I'm talking about different people, right? Different people. All right, I will say, Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. In this case, based on the photo, based on the action, I say, yes, they are, okay? That is the way, that is the way. Any questions? Roger and Sally, eso es lo que hemos estado, verdad, practicando. Estuve mencionando eso de acá, verdad, pero le voy a pedir, por favor, que veamos la grabación para poder, eh, verdad, entender esa explicación. Hey, eso. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Nos vemos un, un, un buen tiempo, ¿verdad? Con eso. You You're welcome. <risa> Con eso sí nos vemos un buen tiempo, ¿verdad? Así que le voy a pedir, por favor, que veamos la grabación para que podamos entender eso, ¿verdad? Cualquier duda, consulta, me la tengo. Ok, and now we're practicing with the last part. And your classmates, you were supposed to write two questions in your notebooks. And how? I mean, taking into account this picture. We have a picture over here, right? Similar to the one that we had yesterday. But in this case, we have different people, right? We have a family. 
Well, we can see that this family is doing right different activities. Ellos están haciendo diferentes actividades en ese momento, ¿verdad? We have, again, grandfather, Paul, Mr. Green, grandmother, Mrs. Green, Simon, the girls, Mike. We have animals, right? The dogs, the birds, and the cat, right? So you were supposed to construct the questions for novels. Pedí que construyeran dos preguntas en su cuaderno, ¿verdad? Para hacerlas acá en clase a sus compañeros. Por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Quería hacer la actividad de grupos, pero vamos a hacer lo que se hace la otra semana. Vamos a hacer una actividad de grupo para que podamos, ¿verdad? Compartir con nuestros compañeros. Les preguntaba, ¿verdad? Si, si conocían la, la, la función Baker Rooms. Hago nuevamente la pregunta. Yes. 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 Bueno, por el tiempo, ¿verdad? No. 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 Excelente. Entonces, lo voy a explicar ahorita. No. Excelente. Entonces, lo voy a explicar ahorita. No. Ok, ok. Lo voy a explicar ahorita, ¿verdad? Para que la próxima semana, espero tener, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener una actividad en la cual podamos, ¿verdad? Trabajar en, en equipos o en pareja. La idea era esa, que ustedes trabajaran en pareja, ¿verdad? Con sus compañeros. Eh, Breaker Rooms es, ¿verdad? Una función que son tienen y en diferentes plataformas, ¿verdad? La cual, la cual nos permite... Eh, crear salas privadas, ¿verdad? en las cuales ustedes pueden trabajar en parejas o en equipo. Quería hacer ese ejercicio para que ustedes explicaran con las preguntas que habían escrito, les hicieran a sus compañeros y sus compañeros respondieran. ¿verdad? Pero por el tiempo, ya que solo tenemos cinco minutos, pero no va a ser un poco difícil porque ¿verdad? toma tiempo. Hay que crear los grupos, luego eh, abrir las, las salas privadas para que ustedes ¿verdad? se vayan con sus compañeros en la misma llamada, ¿verdad? una llamada privada, ustedes practican con sus compañeros. Solo tienen esa interacción con ellos. Entonces, lo vamos a hacer la próxima semana. Voy a, voy a incluir una actividad en la cual podamos trabajar en, en equipos o en parejas para que ustedes la hagan. Entonces, es que no lo pudimos hacer ahorita porque quería verdad también explicarle a sus compañeros que se quedaban de nuevo para que estuvieran al día. Lo vamos a hacer acá, ¿verdad? En general. Okay, I will be, you know, selecting different participants and you have to ask a question and select a different classmate, okay? Voy a estar seleccionando, ¿verdad?, algunos de ustedes y vamos a hacer las preguntas. Una pregunta, más que todo, la pregunta por, por persona, se la vemos a otro compañero, okay? Eh, let me start with Anna Stephanie. Stephanie, please. Select a classmate, select a partner. Seleccione a alguien, please. Mike? Who? Mike. Oh, okay, okay. In the class, sorry, in the class. Select a ah, class. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Fabiola? Fabiola, oh, okay. Listen, Stephanie. You're going to ask one question to Fabiola, right? Based on the photo and the questions that you wrote, please. Ahorita? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Um, is Mike dancing? Okay, yeah. Now? Excellent. Fabiola, could you listen no. to... No. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no, he isn't. No, he isn't, good. good. No, he isn't. The question was, is Mike dancing now? And Fabiola said, no, he isn't. Very good. Okay. Excellent. You can see Mike, right? This is Mike. Great. Let's continue. Let's go on th in that way, right? Fabiola, now is your turn. Select another class of this. Pero solo vamos a responder así, no. Yeah. No, así. No, he's in, uh, como he's cleaning. You can do it. You can do it. Lo podemos hacer, claro. Con, con ese tipo de preguntas, ¿verdad? Eso eh, lo mencioné ahorita. We can get long answers. Podemos obtener también respuestas largas. Con, por lo general, se obtienen respuestas cortas con, con ese tipo de preguntas. Pero solo podemos decir yes o no, ¿verdad? Yes, he is o no, he isn't. However, you can you know, say long answers to You can say, no, he isn't. And what is next, Fabiola? 
Oh, he is cleaning. He is cleaning. Yeah. Very good. You can do so. You can do so. Vamos a hacer eso. Sí. Son respuestas largas en este caso. Long answers. Lo podemos hacer. Excelente. Me parece muy bien. Ya que lo mencionó, ¿verdad? Lo, lo, lo claro. Oh, you can say just yes, he is or no, he is. It's okay. Because we get short answers, right? Very good. So, for you, said, no, he is. Sir. He is cleaning, right? Good. Oh, yeah. So, let me know the class on this. Glenda Dinora. Glenda Dinora. Okay, please. Ask one question to Glenda Dinora, for you, please. Glenda Dinora, right? Eh, a quién le voy a preguntar? Yeah, Fabiola, you have to ask a question to Glenda Inora. One question, only one question. Ah, okay. The duck are in the water. Oh, but Glenda, it was you. The duck are in the water. Oh, okay. Ducks, ducks, or in the water okay mm -hmm. in the water yes but in this case glenda this is a sentence this is una oración, no una pregunta. Um, if you want if you want okay. to ask the question and listen in this case uh, you're saying just a location right you're, you're not expressing a, an action in this case solo estamos haciendo verdad una estamos especificando una ubicación verdad no estamos preguntando acerca de una acción right so maybe the question can be, let me help you, Glenda. You can say, are the ducks swimming? So now it's different. That can be the question, Glenda. Are the ducks swimming? Okay. But now this is an action. Okay. An action. Can you ask the question, Glenda Dinora, to Fayola, please? <laughs> Yo le tenía que hacer la pregunta. Yeah. ¿eh? <laughs> exactly. Ajá, que eso había entendido. <laughs> Ex excelente, no se preocupe. Vamos a hacer algo. Ok, esa es la, mm -hmm. la pregunta, Glenda. Vamos a la encuentra, please. Fayola, haga la pregunta ahora, Glenda. Um, is grandmother sleeping? Ok, is grandmother sleeping, Glenda? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. Yes, she is. Mm, yes, she is. Or yes. no, she isn't. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay. Listen to the question one more time, Glenda. Be careful. Is grandmother sleeping? Sleeping, right? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. You say yes, she is. This is grandmother. What do you think? Yes or no? No. No. No, no she isn't. Uh -huh. No, she isn't. Good. She is. No, she isn't. We can get the long answer, right? We can say she is drinking, let's say tea, drinking tea, right? She is. Drinking tea. Okay? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Very good. Glenda, select the last participant, please. Selección alguien más, Glenda. Exactly, Ana Maria. She's drinking a cup of tea. It could be coffee, etc. Very good. Hey, Glenda Inora, can you select somebody else, please? Can I select somebody else? compañeros? Alejandra Guevara. Alejandra, okay. Um, Glenda, can you ask this question, right? The one that I told you. Are the ducks women? <coughs> ducks? Glenda, to Alejandra, please. Are the ducks swimming? Yes. Alejandra? 
Yes, they are or no, they aren't. Are the dogs with swimming? Yeah, that is the question. Uh, what is the answer? Sorry. Mm. Yes or no? Yes, are the dogs? Yes, they are. Yes, they are, remember. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. Very good. Absolutely. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, that is the answer. That is the answer. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Remember that this question we can answer like yes, they are. Yes, right? We can say no, they aren't. No, they aren't. So in this case, based on the question that Linda asked, the dogs, right? Yeah. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Pretty good. That is the way. Thank you. Okay, listen. Uh, it's time. It's time. Personally, we couldn't uh, listen to more people, right? But I, I wanted to practice, please. I wanted to practice on your own, right? With the questions. Ask questions and answer them. Right. Ask questions and answer. Questions and answer. Okay. Quiero que hagamos el ejercicio por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Ya se nos agotó. Lamentablemente, me hubiera gustado escucharlos a los demás. ¿Verdad? Ya son las dos pasaditas. Así es que vamos a quedar hasta acá. Pero quiero que sigamos practicando. Please. No se cuenta. Si podemos, ¿verdad? Eh, sería genial. Si podemos contactar a nuestros compañeros, ¿verdad? Si tenemos contacto con ellos, ¿verdad? Eh, y podemos hacer el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Por medio de. Probablemente de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Más fácil. Hagámoslo. Para mí eh, sería la mejor opción, ¿verdad? Excelente, porque pueden interactuar entre ustedes. Por medio de, de audio se podría, ¿verdad? Así es que hagamos el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Lamentablemente no podemos eh, hacerlo con más ¿verdad? participantes, pero hay que seguir practicando, ¿ok? Hagámoslo por nuestra cuenta, claro que se puede. Right. Yes, that's a good question. Esperanza is full. We're, we're in flowers. Let's answer the last question, right? The one that Esperanza sent right now. Is full watering flowers? Is full watering flowers? Ay. This is full. Is full watering flowers? Yes, he is or no, he isn't? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Very good. He is full watering flowers. And the answer is yes, he is. This is full. This is full. And full is watering yeah. flowers. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Spanola. Thank you, everybody. Let's just say preguntas. No question, teacher. Okay. You. Anytime. No question, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Siempre es un placer, ¿verdad? Y, okay. bueno, por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Nuevamente repito, mil disculpas. Bueno, no podemos, vamos a poder, ¿verdad? Practicar con las preguntas. Pero, si lo podemos hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, tomemos la captura, creo que después la tomaron, ¿verdad? La foto de la imagen y hagamos las preguntas. Hagamos diversas preguntas, contestemos. Yes, no. Yes, no. ¿Ok? Eh, cualquier cosita, duda, pregunta que tengan, me las hacen saber, yo les puedo ayudar, ¿verdad? Y recuerden que ese día terminamos la semana 3. Perdón, la semana. Sí, la semana 3, ya se me olvidaba. Semana 3, la próxima, el próximo lunes tenemos la última semana y la última sección. Son 5. Eh, no olviden completar las Marta, la sección 4 y si adelantamos la sección 5 excelente mm, así es que mañana verdad sería el, no, tenemos, no tenemos clase recuerden no se les olvide el lunes a jueves vamos y los vería hasta el próximo lunes ok well guys this is all for today thank you so much for being here during this week thank you I'll see you next Monday thanks for remember have a nice weekend thank you teacher thank you. bye bye, bye. Thank, you. thank you see you next week Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Thanks a lot.